Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about Native Instruments M32 controller. Why it's good, why it's bad, and personally, why I don't use it even to this day. The biggest thing I use this for, even more than I use it for the keys, would have to be its function controls. Got your loop, play, stop, record, octaves, and sliders. Some people might like sliders, others prefer the mod wheels, but I prefer the sliders for for these parameters and then also the biggest would definitely have to be the the scroll knob well, what keeps me from using this to this day i'll start from ergonomics and go straight to functionality first of all i would have to say the ergonomics is pretty poor with this keyboard uh most setups you have the keyboard out front then you set up your monitor or uh laptop in front of the key keyboard and uh, whenever you're reaching across you got these sharp edges and corners if you're reaching around your wrists will bump into the, the the right angles quite a lot, which can be kind of frustrating if you're if you're reaching over over and over and over and over again. There's also a lot of features this keyboard has that are kind of unusable if you're not using the complete control software. I don't use the complete control software because it's really inefficient, and there's a bunch of other issues with that, which I'll talk about in another video. But I'm just going to talk about what I can't use because I'm not using the software. First of all, the function keys, presets, and these, and including the knobs, those are completely unusable without the software. Even if I am going to use the knobs, you can't even use them in the software. If you are going to be remapping the knobs inside Logic, for example, or even Ableton, they're already mapped to something that you cannot unmap them from, and it doesn't allow you to map them to other things. I reached out to the forums, why can I not remap them? And what are they mapped to? Well, right here I have a simple track with some instances of Serum open. If I play, you can take a listen to that. Each uh, track has its own you know, notes forming a chord. If I reach over to a knob, you can see it changes a fader. The first knob controls the first track. Second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. The seventh knob controls the stereo output, and the eighth controls the master. If I start duplicating tracks or adding tracks, everything shifts. So why is this an issue? First of all, I cannot map them. I cannot unmap them. And whenever I'm reaching across my keyboard to work on my tracks, I bump into these knobs a lot. And whenever I do that, it messes up my mix. With this controller, it completely messes up what I'm trying to do and it slows down my progress. So I can't even use this. If you guys have the same issue, please let me know. If you have any solutions, that's also helpful. Otherwise, you guys have a good one.